Welcome to a new video. Red Bull is an energy drink distributed by the company Red Bull GmbH. This is one or perhaps the most widely used energetic drink by professionals, sportsmen and students to increase the speed of reaction, concentration, performance and alertness. In this video, I will mention the secrets, curiosities and some of the darkest cases of these energy drinks. In this video, I will mention the secrets of Red Bull. Let's begin. This famous energy drink was banned from sale and consumption in countries such as France, Norway and Denmark. This was because study shows that excess drinking can be very harmful to health since it contains ingredients like sugar, taurine, caffeine, niacin, inositol, and vitamins B6 and B12. These ingredients, in excess and mixed, can be very risky as it is the mixture of taurine with sugar. In addition, according to the World Health Organization, the recommended daily amount of sugar per day is less than 12 tablespoons, an amount that a 473 mm can of Red Bull exceeds. In 2012, the Food and Drug Administration found that the consumption of this drink is causing effects such as high blood pressure, heart attacks, cardiac arrest, multiple seizures, kidney failure, among others. Furthermore, it is known that these drinks generate changes in the mood of consumers, generating anxiety, stress and depression, which in the long run can damage the organs. If you are from the 90s generation, you probably remember the famous campaign that Red Bull carried for many years where its slogan was, Red Bull gives you wings. This campaign became very successful and recognized everywhere, thanks to the characteristic commercials that came out hinted that the energy drink was the image of the risk and adventure that people must take. In short, Red Bull announced that it was a drink that will make you achieve difficult things thanks to its stimulation of the body and mind. The commercials were somewhat simple, since they only consisted of black and white animations with some touches of color. These characters managed to face some problems thanks to Red Bull. For example, in this commercial, a boy gives a little Red Bull to his donkeys, this in order for them to get wings, as the brand promised. In this way, his mother would let him go to a table dance, since she said she would leave him when the donkeys flew, which she thought was impossible. Some other commercial showed a man thinking about how to kill his mother-in-law because she would visit him, but in the end he decided that the best option was to give the lady a Red Bull so that she would acquire wings and fly away. As well as this commercial, there were many more that besides being comical, encouraged consumers to purchase the products to obtain a physical and mental improvement. Most of them knew that saying Red Bull gives you wings was somewhat figurative, since obviously it will not give you real wings. However, in 2014, a man named Benjamin Carthers decided to take a risk and sue the big company for false and misleading advertising. At first, this sounded quite strange, but the lawsuit took an unexpected and a bit more realistic turn, since Benjamin clarified that it was misleading adversity because after 10 years of consuming the drink, he never felt any kind of improvement in his intellectual or sports ability. Furthermore, Benjamin researched and stated that Red Bull contained less caffeine than a cup of coffee, so it was highly exaggerating to say that the drink will give you wings. As time went, people became aware of the lawsuit and joined, thus making a class action. However, Red Bull paid $13 million to solve this problem, although this was done out of judgment and through the help of its website, where affected US consumers could have a refund of $10 in money or $15 in brand products. So that said, $13 million were distributed in approximately 1.4 million dissatisfied consumers. In this way, Red Bull avoided going to trial and only promised to improve its adversity. However, he clarified that for them, its marketing is truthful and accurate and should not be changed. Nowadays, the consumption of organic products has become a trend and is more and more common for people to choose to ingest products of this nature. Now it is very easy to find such products in a wide variety. 
Red Bull, not wanting to be left behind, created a new range of premium drinks called Organics, by Red Bull, exclusively sold in Spain. These drinks are free of artificial flavors and colors, preservatives and additives. These drinks are lightly carbonated and you can find them in four different flavors, which are Simple Cola, Bitter Lemon, Ginger Ale and Tonic Water. In addition, Red Bull clarified that the drinks are free of taurine and are not energizing. They are simply refreshing drinks and can be taken daily since, being natural, they do not pose serious health risks. However, they must be taken in moderation, since they do contain sugar. They are also canned in recyclable, hermetic and tasteless aluminum containers that can contain the product in optimal conditions for a year. As you know, Red Bull is found in various industries such as sports, car racing, among others. In 2016, it had its first edition in Mexico City of the Red Bull Subbox Race, which consists of a race where cars must be creative, original and most importantly not have an engine. To make this race easier, the track will be a slow and the members of the team of each car should drive it and wait to see which car reached the finish line first. In addition, these cars will have a pilot on board, who must be very skillful in order to drive in a costume, which will go accordingly to the team of the car. The groups could be up to five members. The first three places were awarded, the first obtaining a Red Bull racing experience in Spielberg, Austria. The second place will have the opportunity to have experience with the Red Bull racing team in the Mexican Grand Prix. And finally, the third place will have experience in real Memo Rojas racing car. As you know, Red Bull has been part of the Formula 1 competitions, and since 2014, it has had the Australian Daniel Ricciardo, who is currently 29 years old. Daniel has gifted Red Bull 7 victories and 29 podiums. He has been very loyal to the brand. However, this year Daniel Ricciardo announced that he will leave Red Bull to join the French team Renault, a car-making brand. Now, I will tell you about some of the cases in which this brand, dedicated to the development of energy drinks, was involved. Let's begin. Case 1. Pneumothorax. The first case was disclosed two years ago by video. In 2016, a recording was uploaded showing the danger of taking a lot of Red Bull in no time. The video was released under the name of Alcohol Red Bull Effects, lasting just 35 seconds. According to the information collected on the video, there was talk about the myth that the person showing the short film had taken around 20 cans of Red Bull with alcohol, which according to some studies, this combination was and is a great health hazard, because caffeine avoids feeling drunk. One of its effects is to have more resistance to alcohol. In addition to that, together with the chemicals that accompany energy drinks, can cause problems with the heart. In the recording, it is possible to see a man who was on a stretcher while nurses prepare his chest on the left side, that is, right in the heart, precisely in the part of the patient's body. It was shown how his chest was inflated to such an extent of looking abnormal, along with a reddish color, while the patient complained of the pain he was suffering. The video went viral, reaching other social networks, trying to raise awareness so that they avoid ingesting this type of drink. Later, with the passage of time, it was determined that the video was actually false to a certain extent. In the explanation, it was said that the original video was called Pneumothorax, which, although it is not known if it was the original video, completely ruled out that it was related to the Red Bull drink. These symptoms occur when there is a problem with the lungs, which is usually caused by a firearm, or in any case, a knife. But in this case, it was theorized that the possible cause of such an abnormal movement in the patient's chest was from a car accident, which results in a broken rib, which explain its symptoms. Finally, on YouTube channels focused on health, the same video was shown, but without mentioning the Red Bull brand in the title. Lastly, despite being a fake video, it was commented that energy drinks together with alcohol represent a health hazard, but not to such degree. If you want to see the full videos, I will leave you a direct link in the description. Case 2. Death. The second case was disclosed five years ago on the American continent. 
In 2013, a story was released about a lawsuit against Red Bull in the Northeast United States, blaming the company for the death of a parent. The case originated in November 2011 in Brooklyn, New York, when a man identified as a 30-year-old Corey Chase had a problem after drinking a can of Red Bull. According to the news, on November 8 of the before-mentioned year, Corey was working in a construction where after a shift he went to a nearby high school and thus accessed some basketball courts to be able to play for a while. However, the problem arose after 45 minutes of exercise when he decided to open a can of Red Bull and drink it. From one moment to the other, he suffered a heart attack that ended his life. According to testimonies of some witnesses, Corey began to feel dizzy until collapse. When he arrived at the hospital, he was diagnosed with idiopathic dilated cardiomyopathy, or in other words, his heart stopped. This is why his family filed a lawsuit against Red Bull for wrongful death, in which the brand was demanded for the amount of $85 million. However, Corey's grandmother commented that this was a healthy man, since she assured that he did not smoke and that he led an active life. His only problem was his addiction to energy drinks, especially Red Bull. The main concern of the affected family was his 13-year-old son, who was left without a father at a very young age. Finally, the lawsuit did not proceed, so it was clear that the situation was settled out in court. Red Bull did not give any statement in this regard. If you want to know more about the case, I will leave you a direct link in the description. Case 3. Rat. The third case was released a few months ago on the American continent. In March 2018, a man posted a video showing something strange found inside a Red Bull can. The news was shared on March 19 of the year mentioned, when a man identified as Josh Enley, a resident of Arkansas, United States, released the video. According to his testimony, on the night of March 18, 2018, he brought a can of Red Bull, which he opened to consume. Without finishing, he decided to leave it for the next day, that is, on March 19. He explained that, when he drank from it, he realized that there was something strange that was hitting with his tongue. This caught his attention, so he decided to record the moment to have evidence of what happened. In a video of little over than a minute, he explained what I mentioned before, while using a kind of knife to be able to split the can into two parts and thus see what is inside. After achieving it, he focused directly at the bottom of the can to realize it was nothing more and nothing less than a mouse. Given this, the company explained that, due to the process of making Red Bull, there was no possibility that a rat could get inside a can. Although the video reached thousands of visits in a matter of hours, hundreds of people commented that it was a false case, since there was a possibility that the rat had infiltrated Sunday night when Hoss left the can to finish it the next day, or even some netizens alleged that he was the one who put the rat into the faulty Red Bull. Finally, at the end of the video, Josh advised people to fully check their Red Bull cans so they will avoid a similar situation. If you want to know more about these cases, I invite you to visit www.bravesnews.com. I will leave you a direct link in the description. For more than three decades, Red Bull has positioned itself as one of the best-known energy drink brands in different countries of the world, thanks to its drink and its participation in extreme sports. Now that you know the secrets of Red Bull, I would like to know your opinion. Which was the case that surprised you the most?